I'm, Let's talk about Oregon. Yay! Well, Oregon was, was badass. I was going to get my beautiful... Oh, man. Come on, landscapers. I've got a nice setting. I've got the bus in the background. We'll keep talking. They've heard a weed eater before. Okay. I was going to read my blog notes. Again. Let's get, okay. this shit up. Now the sprinklers just came on. <laughs> the well, time that I finally decide to do the damn Oregon recap, everything is going wrong. For the third time. All right, buddy. It's clean. <laughs> Take two, Ella. <laughs> Take five. All right. Oregon. We finally arrived to Newport, Oregon, to the Pacific Shores Motor Coach Resort, which is amazing absolutely loved this resort i took a lot of videos because we were there for a full week and it was a wonderful place to stay i am so excited we just got parked at the newport pacific shores motor coach resort and we are in what is considered a premium lot here um spot 45 is where we just parked the lots are actually a little smaller than I expected, but I mean, the location is amazing. I'm walking towards the beach right now, taking my first little stroll with you guys in hand over towards, wow, look at this lot. That's a nice one. That's probably owned by somebody <laughs> and they don't rent it out. But look, we got pickleball courts, hiking trails to discover. I'm so glad we're here for six days. Look at this place. Really nice. I could be in heaven right now. We got parked at the Pacific Shores Motor Coach Resort right around noon, 1230. I detailed and detailed and detailed. Mike got our little lot all set up with our chairs and our table since we're actually going to be in one place for six days. And I said, I need some fresh air. It's three o'clock. You guys. This is heavenly. I will tell you, you need to get your reservations way in advance. I booked this in January, but boy, boy, is it worth it. I mean, I haven't even scratched the surface. This is the first little serene little spot I found. This is the hiking trail right off of our lot almost. It's a beautiful lighthouse behind me. I'll give you some better zoom in shots, but uh, the beach we just heard is dog friendly, so I'm going to keep walking and discovering and exploring because I think every morning and evening I'm going to be walking these dogs on this beach and letting them enjoy a little bit of running and freedom. I found the beach access. I mean, I'm just like Lewis and Clark. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe that we get to stay here for six days. This is going to be amazing scouting out this trail for the dogs. They're next. And another cool little spot. Come on. Up. Check out this. Looks like it's a little gazebo, but it's got some glass protection, maybe for the nights that it's really windy. How cute is this? Come on here. Sit with your coffee or a cocktail or a glass of wine at night. Really cool. Another little bench area right here. There's lots of spaces where you can have privacy around here. Check out the lighthouse. I just keep discovering all these cool little spots. So just another cool little special place here at Pacific Shores is this wonderful big green lawn. And here's a lot of the oceanfront lots. They're beautiful. But this is a common area right here. So since we've been here, there's been lots of kids playing games up here. People bringing chairs, watching the sun go down. The sunsets are fantastic every day. You can see the lighthouse, but just a big, beautiful green lawn. Very well maintained and manicured. Little walking trail right here. 
fact, I don't think I've even walked this trail yet. There's so many cool little hidden <laughs> amenities that it's gonna take me all week to figure it out. Clyde's gonna help. I will say, I mean, we're here in mid-July, oh, I guess July 20th, 21st, 22nd, and it's, for me, amazing weather. I really, really like it. 60 during the day, but when you're on the beach, it feels like it's 75 or 80, especially if it's not really windy. Today, it's a little windy. You can hear it, obviously. They have Frisbee golf. I've never played that. I haven't seen anybody out here playing, but that's what those stands are. But just look at all this beautiful landscaping. Just little paths that you can kind of get away and just enjoy yourself within the park. I will advise you if you want to stay there, you probably need to book as far in advance as possible. They stay booked out. And if you can get a site close to the ocean, do it. Because I, in my opinion, the most serene, peaceful place we went was Newport, Oregon and the Pacific Shores Motor Coach Resort. I loved it. You know, everybody, including my wife, they can't wait to go to Paris or to Italy, <laughs> to London, to, to all see the world. Places, to see the world. Let me tell you something. The good old U.S. of A. is the most beautiful place on the planet. And when you My go up the Oregon... <laughs> <laughs> when you go up 101, up the Oregon coast, it's just magic. It, it's so beautiful. Everywhere, and there's so many places to pull and stop and take pictures. We got more pictures than, than we didn't even know what to I, do. But I will say this about Newport, Oregon and Pacific Shores. There are other motor coach uh, resorts near Newport. It's so good. But I think that's the best place to stay for the longest amount of time. Because we went all, we started at the base, like we started in Eureka, California. You're just California, kind of at the but, edge of town, mm -hmm. just out of town, mm -hmm. which is good. But you can get to Astoria, yep. Washington. I mean, you're kind of in the middle of the Oregon coast. And in my opinion, it was the prettiest. Uh, the beaches weren't as crowded there. There, there wasn't a lot of, well, we, had our, we had our own private beach. I could find any starfish. Sometimes you can see, hey, where is he going? Okay, not a good idea to do videos with a crazy dog. Look at him. <laughs> What'd you see, a whale? Are you scared? <laughs> okay, back to my biology here. So, you can see a, some sea urchin, which is kind of cool. You're also supposed to be able to see. I wish I would have just got the video of Clyde who just fell in one of these. He didn't realize how deep it was. It's pretty humorous. Let me see if I can find a starfish. I mean, we did. So that's one thing about Pacific Shores. You know when you're a tourist and you read about, I gotta go to this beach, I gotta go see this beach. Well, the beach that is part of Pacific Shores Motor Coach Resort is really the prettiest emptiest beach so yeah. don't worry about packing your stuff up and going to another beach just pack your little backpack and whatever you want to take and walk you, down you six from your rv parking spot hang, exactly hang out i mean i flew a kite there clyde and i went on walks every day we checked out tidal pools you can see the lighthouse oh mike and i the first night found the cutest little sunset watching spot nobody was ever around us i mean it was like we were the only people really in the resort so I just, I know I keep going on and on about it, but it was that special. We also found pickleball yep. in the Newport area and had a lot of fun. And competitive players. Yeah, very competitive players. We, the little town is really cute. Um, we had, we went to Clearwater restaurant and it was, eh, 
It was okay. It was supposed to be... Um, no, wait. Was Clearwater right. was okay. It was the Georgie's on the beach that wasn't our favorite place. It was okay. Georgie's on the beach reminded me um, of a tourist trap. I'm just going to be honest. I mean... Tell them what we did the last day, though. Oh, my gosh. Well, the last day, we played pickleball. Tom and Laura had to leave early to get their bus worked on. So, we ended up going to... Um, Oh, man, what was the name? I don't know. You're a lot of help, Angie. No. Name will be inserted here. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Well, that restaurant is the bomb diggity. Yeah. We had fresh halibut. I would have ate there. We had a bottle of Oregon wine. Three nights if, if I'd have known about it the first yes. night. Yes, yes. I'm telling you, that place. So and you can buy meal. fresh fish and take it back to your bus yeah. from there, too. Which that was, yeah, so... That was really cool. We actually cooked out a lot in Oregon as well because we had such a nice spot and with the ocean in the background and sunsets every night, why would you leave? I mean, right. so that was a lot of fun. Um, I went to the aquarium and I really enjoyed the Oregon Aquarium. It was a five minute drive from the RV resort and that was spectacular. Very nice, well done. And you can do it like an hour, hour and a half. It's not that big. Um, we did not go to the seal caves, but a lot of people say that that's a lot of fun. A sea lion, not the seal, the sea lion caves. We went whale watching, though. We went whale watching, and we and saw, saw a whale. a whale like five times. Yeah. It was great. The, there's better times of the year to go whale watching in Oregon, but we did see Yo-Yo, mm -hmm. uh, the communal whale. <laughs> I think they feed it. <laughs> but he made some wonderful no, dives so. for us. Well, the... The boat that went out before us didn't get to see a whale, yeah. but we did get to see it. So that was really cool. Um, there, we also did. What was that um, that place called that we went to? Devils. <laughs> this is a terrible recap. I'm sorry. The pool. The something pool. Devils pool. I have no idea where she's going. Da I have nothing. I have Remember nothing. when we stopped and we got the ice cream and they had the beautiful little picnic area, and devils turn around or. I don't know, it was some... Devil's Punch Bowl. Oh my, you're so, you're so good. Devil's Punch Bowl is what it was. Devil's Punch Bowl. That was a cool little area to go and have a cup of coffee or you can get some ice cream. They even had a fun little winery where you could do tasting, the Flying Dutchman. No dog biscuits. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, and then this is a different video, so you'll have to look it up, but we had our Lewis and Clark honorary day where... Tom felt it was important to honor we Lewis took a and day Clark. Trip. So just the three of us, Laura stayed behind because she doesn't like history. <laughs> Tom and I might go on and on a little bit about history. Just, just a bit. Disclaimer. So anyways. They needed a chauffeur. We so Yes, yeah, so Mike drove team. us. It was a two and a half hour yeah. drive up to Fort Clatsop where Lewis and Clark actually ended their expedition and where they saw the ocean. Ocean in view. And Tom oh, joy. being an actor. He re reenacted. Yes, he did. That's another video. Yeah that we have to share with you guys. Also, we got to see Cannon Beach on that little adventure. So that was cool. Um, I really- Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell them about Tillamook. Oh, we went Tillamook to Tillamook. Cheese. cheese, you guys. The Tillamook Cheese Factory is literally on 101 going towards watch Astoria. As they, how the whole thing is done. And, and a great place to eat. We had some it was kick okay butt burgers. No, the like, burgers you know, were good. Did I say burgers? <laughs> I meant to say burgers. That ice cream. The ice cream, yeah. That was a fun stop. And then Tom and I raided the store and we bought like all these, you know, Tillamook expensive cheeses that you normally yes. can't get at the grocery store. We were very proper. It was so good. It's, we're still eating we're, it, we're by the way. We're still eating it. Oh, I just poked my eye. Okay, I so. I you're throwing it away. I'm not going to. It's going to be a big one. If you do want more details, remember Skinner5media.com has my blog where we have given many, many details about driving up the coast, as well as every place we went in Oregon, every stop we've made on this whole trip. But if you've never been to the state of Oregon in your motor home and you've never done the coast, you need to do it. Uh, I would do that we're again getting wet. as well. <laughs> I would do that again as well. Yes. Really, really cool. Pacific Shores Motor Coach Resorts, where we stayed, I would love to go back there and just you could just stay there and not leave. Just go to the beach every day yeah. and enjoy the Newport's peacefulness, the good, serenity, it's the sunsets. It's yeah. a, yes, yes. We loved it, right? Love, love, love. Ciao.